Something face down on the ground. Someone face down on the ground. Not moving a twitch. Wearing familiar clothes. What is this? Who is this? I soon realize. Da da da! Oh my god! Hmm. Kisukuritsu. Though I can't quite see her face, it's got to be her. The impertinent genius girl who I just fought with ten minutes ago is face down in a puddle of vivid red blood. Dead. Why? My body is shaking before I know it. What do I do? I want to run away. Run away. Run away. This is normal. It's unreal. Kisa Cruz was killed by someone. There's no other explanation. But by whom? No one else is here. Ah! I twist my head back in shock. Some other men had followed me. And every one of them was ghastly pale after seeing Chris's dead body. Call the police! The one who cried out was in a shivering voice. It's the chairman of the conference just now. The voice for the signal where everyone starts screaming and run away. Panic immediately! Of course, I followed them. There's no reason to stay here at all. Sympathy for my Kisa is superseded by the instinctive feelings of flight and fright. When I get back to the center home, Murray is waiting for me with a tearful face. I agree what happened! I don't know what's going on! We're leaving! Pull my hand and flee as quick as possible. I rushed down the stairs, trying to drive out the mental images of Chris's dead body from my mind, but I couldn't. Actually, the more permanent image was the vivid redness of the blood the pool underneath the body, rather than the body itself. It was the first time I'd ever seen a dead body. Well, if you live in LA, you see about three a week, so... Yeah. Fortunately, I never had to witness the death of a relative. I never even attended a funeral. That was the first time I saw a dead body. Yeah, you already said that! Chills run down to my spine when I remember that fear. Actually, the more disgust I felt. I couldn't think of anything else. I couldn't feel anything else. After all, I barely know my Kisa Kiriso. Well, we're safe now, so yeah. Ha ha! I don't know if he's breathing or something, I don't even know. Finally, we get out to Dori. Breathing so hard since we just ran down the stairs at full force. Hey, hey, what happened? You look really pale! Oh, he doesn't seem to comprehend the situation. I guess it's just because she didn't see the scene of the crime. But still, she's not even breathing any harder. She looks slow, but she's actually pretty fast on her feet. Someone died. Eh! Canadian, eh? I take several deep breaths. That blood red still stains my brain. I've calmed down a bit. Makisi Crystal was killed. And I don't know who the killer is. I can hear a siren in the distance, so I guess an ambulance is coming soon. Later, the police will storm in, and the place will go into an uproar. But for now, the mini Akipahara pedestrians on summer break still didn't notice this, and everyone's like, walking like normal. Walking in search of consumer electronics, moe, and porn. But mostly porn. Same old, same old, Akipahara. I take my phone out of my pocket for some reason. I don't really have anything in mind. Ah, I know. Darwin told me about Maki Sakuso, so I'll tell him about the incident that happened just now. That's it. Send the mail. It's pertinent. I'm in an adrenaline rush. Blood is probably through my head. I can't make calm decisions after witnessing something like that. That's how humans are, after all. We're not so ignoble in existence. I know that, at the end of the day. We're made of nothing but dirty slime-like flesh. We carry a festering spirit like semen left to rot in the womb. God, this is dirty. That's how we humans are. Damn, Okarian, you were one cynical bastard. Soaked in a little sediment, I began to type on my phone. Maybe in danger, blah blah blah, who cares. Maybe okay. Why does this phone sound like a typewriter? Um, you know, I don't even ask. Seems like Casey Crisp and Stab I met. Don't know who though. Maybe in danger, maybe okay. 
I don't know if the culprit is a man, but a man seems more realistic. So I'm just guessing. Incidentally, the stabbing part is also a guess. That's what I think from the amount of blood and the lack of gunshot, at least. On the other hand, I definitely s Hey, she was killed. I can't exactly explain why myself. If I had to say, I guess, I felt like writing it with a set in stone. It would make me feel giddy. It's not like I'm the one who killed her. Just thinking about my strange mindset makes me smile bitterly. I just saw someone's death like clothes, and only a few minutes later, I'm smiling. Am I really that cool cruel, and cold? I'm a fiendish, insane mad scientist, so it suits me. I put my thumb on the send button. I lightly press down. That thumb. And the mail. Running after that. Oh no, acid flashback! What was that feeling? No, more importantly, where the hell is everyone? Gone. Summer break, noon, Akihabara, two dory, a minute's walk from the station, all at once, thousands of pedestrians, just walking there, right before my eyes, instantly, disappeared. Is this a dream? Is this an illusion? I don't get it. They've all disappeared. I know, I saw it, they very instant. Royalty in shock. I just stand there, all alone, in the vacated Akihabara. Confused, I look up. And in Radio Kaikan's building. Right at the 8th floor where we just were. Lies a crash satellite. Oh yeah, late title card, motherfucker. With that, I think I'll uh, I'll end it here now, and uh, I'd like to thank you for me joining me. But uh, to be honest, I'm kind of out of breath because it's like fucking 90% humidity and I have asthma and shit. And yeah, I'd never really fucking read a story to anyone before, so uh, I feel like I'm about to suffocate and die. So if you'll excuse me, um, I'll take off, and we'll continue next time. Again, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you later.